Hey guys, how are we all doing today and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome to the Makeup Mummy family and guys if you are new to my channel it would be awesome if you could just hit that subscribe button just down there and if you do remember and hit that bell as that will notify you every time I upload which is Fridays and Sundays. So today guys we're doing a mascara review, you know my mascara was coming to an end and um, the mascara I was using was not cruelty free so I will not be repurchasing it so I needed something new to try. You know I just decluttered all my mascara I was left with maybe four or five um, but I wanted something new to experiment with and play with and there's a mascara that I've had my eye on for quite a while and decided to just go and pick it up so if you guys want to see what this mascara could do and what mascara we're talking about then just keep on watching okay guys now I say that in every video if you want to see what I'm talking about then just keep on watching but I know you guys already know what we're talking about because in the description it does say what we're talking about. So really I maybe shouldn't just even say that, it's just stupid isn't it? But I do and I probably will continue to. But we are indeed talking about the next Worth the Hype mascara. Um, I've been wanting to try this for the longest time. You know, I've heard a lot of good things about it and I wanted to see for myself if it does give that volume and length like it does claim. I mean my lashes, like I've said many a time in my videos and if you are new here, I do have quite short lashes, you know, and they're not the greatest of lashes. They kind of in 90s at 10, if you look at them, they do sort of just come out ever so slightly. Not straight out, they do have a little curve, but nothing major. Um, so I look for a mascara that's going to give me that volume. It's going to give me a bit of length and maybe as a bonus, a little curling effect in there too. Um, now, before we get into this review, guys, I just want to bring something to your attention that I'm going to apologise for right now. If you do hear any background music in this video, if you hear anything, it is not my music. It is my downstairs neighbour who are playing their music loud enough to make your ears bleed. <sighs> Without getting into too much detail, guys, this neighbour is the neighbour from hell. Um, it's been just hellish, you know. It's We've been back and forward to the housing officer. Um, it doesn't make living here enjoyable. I am looking to move now because I just oh, can't stand it. And it does get you down, guys, because, you know, I'm studying for a course, you know, I've got a little one, and when you've got a neighbour who's as in inconsiderate as the one I have, it makes life that little bit harder. But anyway, we'll move on. We'll just have to suck it up. And get on with this video but I just wanted to point out guys if you did hear anything you heard any music or whatnot that it's not mine it is coming from downstairs and again that is out of my control I'm even sitting here sweltering because I have shut the windows to try and um, keep the noise level as much as we can you know keep it down as much as we can but again apologies so anyway let's get into this review I'm going to open it up actually guys because I haven't opened it yet so I'm just going to pop off and do this because Michelle could take at least 40 years to get this open and we're back not quite 40 years later but we're back so this is what it looks like obviously the packaging you've got the next worth the hype across the front there you've obviously got all your ingredients on the back of the packaging it tells you that this is a black mascara you're getting six months for this, but guys, normally I would say with a mascara, at least switch your mascara out every three months for an absolute push, but definitely three months is when you should be switching out your mascaras. Um, you're getting 0 0.23 fluid ounces, which is seven mils, so that's not too bad. Um, so yeah, I'm really intrigued to see how this is going to work. As you can see, I have no eyeshadow on, no mascara no nothing like that because I wanted to have a blank canvas so we could play with this mas mascara without any interference of shadow I wanted to see what effect it gives you without any other makeup on obviously I've got you know bronzer and highlight on because you don't want to see my face without makeup <laughs> um but yeah I'm really really excited and not only that guys I'm thinking about doing like because it is I'm I'm actually that excited about this mascara that I'm actually filming this today which is the day it's going live so friday the 13th um i'm actually going thinking about doing like a horror look today for my insta so that's why i thought well it would be ideal not having any eyeshadow on so that you can really see the full effect of the mascara but also i thought well at least then i can just blacken up the eyes or something later on so let's um, open this up and see what kind of wand we've got 
Well, the one looks nice, so it looks synthetic, um, nice bristles on there. Um, not too fat, not too thin either. I, I like these mascara wands. They're, for me, they're just the right um, wand. Now, guys, a lot of people make the mistake, and I'm not going to do it because I don't want to ruin my mascara, but a lot of people I see on YouTube, um, they'll open up their mascara and they pump. You don't want to be doing that, guys, because... The more you keep putting your wand in and out and in and out, all you're doing then is filling it up with air, which then means it's unhygienic because all the bacteria and everything is getting up there. And not only that, you're going to dry out your mascara. So when you are applying mascara, I mean, mostly everybody knows this, but just take it out, guys, apply and then dip back in apply. Don't keep like pump, pump, pumping because all you're doing is just putting tons of air in there, which is harvesting bacteria. So anyway, let's get going. I'm going to start with this eye here um, and we're going to see the difference. So I'm going to come close. That's my stubby little lashes before mascara. Um, and I'm going to go in with one coat. I'm impressed so far guys, I mean that is one coat, so I'm going ahead and do the other eye with just again one coat. I'm only doing the top lashes to start. I'm really sorry if you do hear that music guys, I mean I feel like I'm sitting here in a club. What I am noticing is I am getting transfer when I'm applying the mascara, so that's something to bear in mind that there is transfer happening. But you know what, guys? That's not the end of the world. Okay, I'm just going to leave that there because we will be applying another coat. That's not bad for one blinking coat, guys. So I'm going to go in there and just... Apply a little to the lower lash. I think I would only put one coat on the lower lash, guys, because it is making my lower lashes quite long. Oh yeah, I wouldn't put anything, oh, one. Can you see how long those are? I think if I was to put any more on them, they would look like spider legs. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the second coat of mascara on the top lashes. Oh god guys, I am loving what I'm seeing. Oh my god, can you guys see that? Whoa. I'm just going in with a second coat for this eye. Now we have the dog barking. Wow. Guys, I am super, super impressed with what I'm seeing. Now what I'm gonna do is just go and grab a cotton bud um, and we'll clean up the top lid. Um, this is what happens or what I've 
made happen. It could just be me and my application, but there's just like slight transferage on the lids. Now again, guys, that's not a major issue because all you would have to do is just let the mascara dry and just gently take a cotton bud and just remove it once it's dry. Don't go in there when it's wet because all you're gonna do is start smearing that mascara everywhere. Wait until the mascara is dry and then just remove it. So that's what I'm gonna go and do. I'm going to go and grab a cotton bud and get all that removed and then I'm going to talk about this mascara but holy mother of god I'll be back okay guys we're back and I've gotten pretty much most of that off the eyelid now I'm liking this mascara guys. It was relatively easy to apply. Yes, there was transfer, so that is a downside because especially if you've went all the trouble of making a beautiful eye look and you get it on your upper lid, oh, there's nothing more frustrating. <laughs> um, the wand, although I liked the size of the wand, it, was, it did feel a little strange compared to what I'm used to. Like for instance, the L'Oreal one that I'm removing now from my collection, it has a very, like not, tiny slim but it's slimmer and it does feel like I can get in there a little better whereas this one I felt like I was a little scared to go in there because I was seeing the transfer happen um but but look at that length can you see that there guys when I turn to the side can you see there is so much length and volume there is a little clumpiness but I like a clumpy mascara, guys. I've said this before, not clumpy where the, the it looks like you've got bits of mascara hanging off your lashes, but I just like the clumpier effect. This is amazing, guys. It has given me lots of volume, lots of length. I would say it's even done more than what the one I was using previous, which was that L'Oreal. I have actually just realized I've come on here without any lipstick on. Oh well. We'll just continue. Um, I really do like this mascara, guys. I like what it's doing to my lashes. One coat on the bottom lashes is plenty because if I was to go in any more, it would definitely look like spider legs. And not only that, then that could, of course, intentionally mean that you get these little black dots all over your under eye and nobody wants that throughout the day. Um, but I do like what I'm seeing, guys. I like how long the lashes are. I like how volumized they look. I like everything about this mascara. Like I said, the wand is a little trickier than what I'm used to and um, I'm sure I'll get used to it. It's probably just my application, but I did feel, well, you saw I got a little transfer on the top lid. Um, but other than that, guys, I am super happy. You know, I'm just looking dead on in this mirror here and I am shocked at the amount of length that I've gotten, to be honest. It's stunning how much length I've gotten and I think it would be even better once I obviously if I was to curl my lashes prior to the mascara application I think it would look even better because these were uncurled I didn't do anything to them prior to putting this mascara on so I think if you were to curl your lashes a little then apply this I think it would be looking like babby fabby dozy um but yeah, guys, I'm loving it. I mean, this was like from Boots, £9. I think you can get this on Cult Beauty as well. And it's the same price, £9. I definitely would say this is worth the hype, Nyx. Um, I really like what I'm seeing here. I definitely think if this is how I get every mascara application looking, I think this is going to be repurchase after repurchase after repurchase. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really liking what I'm seeing. Um, so guys, that's it for me today. If you have really liked this review, you like the mascara you saw here today, then give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, it would mean the world to me if you can hit that subscribe button just down there. And also remember and hit that bell, guys, because like I've said in many of my videos, um, having that bell on is extremely important. And I think there is something new here that you click the notification bell, drag it down, and you can click all and we'll be good to go. Um, so remember, subscribe down there hit that bell up there and we're all okay and um, so wherever you are in the world guys i really hope you're having a good one remember and stay safe and guys remember be kind to one another because you just don't know the other person's story and i think the world needs a lot of kindness right now so guys until the next video you take care i love you and we'll see you soon bye